Thanks. Uh, now, though, we are joined by Niall Grimes from the British Mountaineering Council, who has 27 years climbing experience under his belt. He's actually climbed the rock that they do call the Moonlight Buttress uh, himself. So, Niall, uh, welcome. Thank welcome. you. I mean, obviously, nice we saw you. Alex there. Isn't that and amazing? <laughs> Yeah, it's really incredible, good. but I mean, how does what she's achieved so far compare to what is to come? I mean, I know she's using a bit of a different technique here. Bad news for Alex, it gets worse. Mm. <laughs> it gets a lot worse. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so glad she can't hear you. <laughs> <right now. laughs> what she's done so far is kind of the really easy bit to get into the real corner, the real meat of the mm -hmm. climb. Once you get in there, you're just in a different zone altogether. You it's had like, 15 years' experience before you did this. She's had a barely 15 weeks. Yeah, yeah. Ignorance yeah. is bliss in this situation. That may be the only thing. <laughs> the only thing gets her through is her ignorance here. Yeah, I find it really challenging. Really, you're you're in a really impressive piece of terrain. You're just in the middle of nowhere. Your mm. life will only continue when you get to the top. So that's yeah. all there is to your world is getting to the top of this thing. Is it mentally or physically? The Pretty most much challenging? both. Yeah, you're, the physical side really accentuates the mental stress you're under. You're mm -hmm. very far up of a. A tear rolls down your cheek, it'll fall 900 feet into the dust. <laughs> That'll be here. But I mean, so, that. yeah, I mean, on a, on a serious side, I mean, it is a, it's a good couple of days climb this. She's spending the night on a ledge that is a, it's effectively hanging. Yeah, this like is essentially a like a, a rigid hammock. Mm -hmm. And you put them up, you suspend them off one point, and it's very hard to get them flat, so you don't sleep very yeah. well. All the time you're climbing, you're looking forward <laughs> to getting into this bed at night. You get into bed at night, you think, oh, this is next to nice. And how, how did you sleep? Badly. <laughs> yeah, man, tigers, tigers chasing me. I, really, you, anxiety yeah, yeah, dreams, really. Yeah, yeah mm. skeletons. That fitful thing where you kind of like oh. feel like you're falling off a ledge in your sleep, that, that actually can happen. Totally, so. oh yeah, yeah, because you're, you're only the most dysfunctional mind would be happy there. <laughs> so, any of the hu human beings aren't meant to be there. At all. I'm oh, so glad no. we didn't get you on before she left. I know. Uh, <laughs> but, I, but I am also, uh, you know, delighted to hear how somebody who's had 15 years' oh, experience absolutely. And sees it th as... This isn't some poor fool been marched up Everest. This is a real climb. Yeah. This is a, anybody watching who thinks, is this an impressive thing or Did not? Very much you? so. Did it change me? Mm. Yeah. Well, very much so, yeah, because... You get to the top of this thing, you learn so much about yourself and you've gone through so much, you've changed and you've sort of you've plugged yourself into an amazing experience and the only way to overcome it is to rely on yourself and you do that. It'll be the same for her. I think it will definitely everyone. change it. I yeah, mean, yeah, it really yeah. will. I mean, obviously overcoming what she's done already, I mean, it's been a massive achievement. Sure, and I sure. think she'll just take confidence from that. Do you, know her, do you know her personally? Does she use bad language much? Um, <laughs> I say she's using a <laughs> 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 She is doing this climb.